What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Out the Box Studios. And let me just say thank you uh, for joining us. And before we get started, I'm really excited to announce uh, the release of my latest project entitled Universe. Uh, it's available on all streaming platforms as well as the video for the first single to the sky. Uh, you can actually find it on this channel as well as my other uh, YouTube channel, KRK Beats, which I don't really promote that much, but go check it out on either channel uh, as well as Universe. Again, as KRK Beats presents Universe uh, and that can be found everywhere on all streaming platforms. Uh, so check it out. Today we have a nice video. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into these little guys right here, the Genelec 8010A. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about Genelec as a company, as well as uh, these monitors specifically, and what kind of sets them apart uh, for a monitor of its size and its class. So briefly, before we get started, if you would like, please hit the subscription button as well as the notification bell so you can find out when we post new content, all right? So again, back to the Genelic 8010As and Genelic uh, as a company, uh, they're a studio monitor manufacturer who've been around since the late 70s, early 80s, and they were really one of the first, um, if you say high-end, uh, boutique monitor brands uh, out there they kind of set the standard for studio monitors in a lot of ways um, but the 8000 series uh, which are uh, look kind of all similar they all have the same uh, look and build quality uh, they're all made out of aluminum uh, they have this uh, mesh wire grill over the uh, tweeter as well as the woofer uh, and what's really interesting and unique about all of the 80 or excuse me, 8000 series monitors is they come with uh, built in ISO pods. And actually, I did a video about ISO acoustic stands there. So they're similar to that, but they're actually built onto the speaker. Now, you can remove them uh, if you would like and they also offer uh, an option to tilt so really helpful uh, when it comes to getting these monitors to set where you want them to set and really face you now you'll notice also there's a small green indicator light on both monitors uh, when the monitors don't have signal input for uh, i believe it's about 30 minutes they'll actually shut off and what's nice about that, again, it keeps the monitor's uh, lifespan a little longer because obviously it's shutting off uh, those internal components if there's no sound going through. So you can, you know, leave them on for a long period of time and actually shut themselves off. Now, one thing specifically about the 8010A you'll notice is that the size, you know, those are the Atom A5Xs and you'll notice that they're about half the size of those and these are some desktop speakers and you can see the size comparison there uh, what's nice about that is they don't take up a lot of space they don't block uh, a lot of area if you have things behind you like I have monitors uh, there in the back uh, it really helps keep those monitors uh, they don't obstruct from the sound coming from those so that's a, a really nice option uh, as well as sound, I have the, the Genelex website open uh, and they reach 96 dB. So that's really loud for a speaker that size. And just briefly kind of jumping back, I kind of jumped ahead, but Genelec as a company, they've been around for quite some time and they have uh, really honed in their skills as far as studio monitors. and. The sound is very unique, very uh, warm, uh, forward mid-range, especially on the 8010s because of their size. That's actually a three inch uh, woofer. So they're small, but you get bass, a lot of bass. They're rear ported, which may turn some off because you, you ideally can't set them closer to a wall as you could with speakers that are front ported. However, uh, with the 8000 series, even though they're rear ported, they're flare rear ported, so that 
you actually are able to uh, really, and I'm gonna try and find some pictures here. Uh, you can, there's a picture there and I don't know if you can see it, but, and I'll show some B-roll as well. Look at the Genelec 8010 studio monitor. Again, you have a three inch woofer and I believe the manual, uh, let's see. Yeah, so it's a three inch woofer cone, base cone, and a three quarter metal dome. It just says metal dome. I'm not sure if it's beryllium or titanium. Uh, tweeter, and you have a woofer, you have your indicator light. You also have this ISO pad, and you can see the adjustments there that you can actually tilt. I have mine tilted. Uh, what's nice about this monitor, although it's smaller, you have connections. Uh, this can be wall mounted. And if you look closely here, you can see the uh, ISS disable, which is uh, puts the monitor to sleep after a certain amount of time. You have sensitivity at negative 10. If you notice, there really isn't a volume control on here. You only have input sensitivity, which is um, by default at zero, or you can uh, put it down 10 decibels. Desktop control, which I have turned up. I don't know if you can see there in the red, the little white switch turned up. Uh, if you have them sitting on a desk, it actually helps eliminate some of those lower mid bump frequencies. You also have a base tilt, negative two dB, base tilt, negative four. One thing about Genelec monitors, they don't uh, for the most part have additive EQ you can subtract EQ frequencies that may give you problems but they don't really have where you can add EQ uh, it's mainly negative or mainly subtractive I should say then you have the on and off switch right there uh, again you can kind of get a closer look uh, at the Genelec 8010 studio monitors you know uh, Genelec is a Finnish company so these are made in Finland uh, really really sturdy again that metal aluminum die cast aluminum body uh, although these are a smaller monitor they have a good weight to it so that's just kind of a deeper dive and a closer look again you have that flared base port that I spoke about uh, before uh, on the back and then this port actually goes all the way down in the monitor which is what uh, the 8000 series monitors all feature that base port which allows for a better cleaner uh, low end frequency so again that's just some of the uh, highlights of this monitor you have XLR only and then you have a smaller power input uh, due to the smaller size of the monitor so again that's just a closer detail look at the Genelec 8010 studio monitor in the box of course it comes with a power cord and then you get the manual with it so pretty nice setup and the sound you get is just it's otherworldly it's really incredible if you're looking for a pair of smaller monitors uh, for a compact space or if you're looking to kind of accent your setup already they're an excellent excellent choice one suggestion I would make is because of the size, uh, I was able to go on Amazon and I'll put a link to uh, the connectors. Uh, if you're trying to connect because they are, it's an XLR connection. Some of the adapters for the XLR, uh, it's too long. So the cord kind of bends. I found an angled uh, XLR adapter on Amazon and I'll put a link to that below as well. I think it was like 20 bucks. It's just nice because it allows them to tilt fully if you have them sitting on a desk. If you have them up on stands, which they do offer stand adapters for the ISO base on these monitors, uh, you probably wouldn't need that adapter. But if you have them sitting on a desk because of the size, you, you may uh, need that. Uh, some other features, like I said, they shut off. They're made of aluminum. Um, it's a, actually a 25 watt base driver, class D, 25 watt treble, also class D. Uh, and again, the sound, I can't, 
begin to describe the sound of these monitors. They're so uh, really pleasing to listen to. Vocals, uh, especially bass, like if you're a guitarist and you're looking for a good pair of monitors uh, that give you a real solid representation of what your guitar or bass sounds like, these are unparalleled for their size and price. Again, they're smaller monitors, uh, but they're still Genelex, you know. And as I was stating before, uh, you may be familiar with uh, Genelec, the one series, uh, really top of the line studio monitoring. While these are not on that level, uh, it's the idea that the company that they come from, Genelec has a really, really long history of making uh, some of the top of the line monitors. I will put Genelec in the, in the range of ATC, PMC, a lot of acronyms there, but uh, really, really top of the class studio monitors. So you're not getting a budget, so to speak, uh, version of a Genelec. It's just a smaller version of a really high quality monitor. Uh, specifically the size, I think they're about five inches by four inches by like four or something like that. Um, don't specifically quote me on that, but just to roughly give you an idea of the size, again, they're smaller. Now they do make uh, larger versions uh, of the monitors. You have the 8010s, the 8020, 8030, 8040, and 50. So if you're looking for a larger monitor, uh, Genelec does offer that, but uh, I was specifically looking for a small monitoring system uh, that wouldn't block the, uh, really, the passage of the larger monitors in back. Uh, so I actually did, and you may be, have seen the video on the Yamaha HS50Ms. If you haven't, checked that video out as well. Um, those are awesome monitors, really, really good monitors for their range and price. Um, but they kind of were blocking the KRK monitors in the back, not fully, but I wanted to leave space to really get a nice open sound uh, when I'm listening and when I'm mixing. And I also wanted something that was more focused on the mid range. And these do that again, exceptionally. I, I don't do um, audio comparisons just because you're not gonna really be able to understand or hear what the sound is like. Now there is a, a page that really does uh, some awesome uh, reviews on the sound and I'll put a link to that below as well. But uh, if you just, you know, again, if you're looking for a smaller monitoring system uh, at a fairly reasonable price range and quality, again, they're made of metal. Uh, they weigh about four or five pounds or between three and five pounds a piece. Uh, so they're, for their size, they're weighty. And that's substantial because you want, uh, anytime you have a sound source, you want a solid uh, base for that sound to really uh, be projected from. And with these monitors, you don't get that. They're not throwing sound at you, they emit sound. Uh, and if you've ever heard a pair of Genelex, you kind of know what that sound is like. Some may like that sound characteristic, some may not. The Atoms, for instance, are more of an open and airy sound, uh, whereas the Genelex sound is more um, warm, uh, has more a mid-range focus, but it's very accurate mid-range. Uh, they offer uh, the tweeter, I believe, is metal. I'm not sure if it's beryllium or titanium. Uh, you can kind of check that out. I'm trying to see if it shows on the website, but either way, it's a metal tweeter. And again, on the 8010s, it's a three inch woofer. So again, it's small, but you would, you get more bass than you think you would get on a speaker this size. So uh, really nice monitoring system. If you're a person who likes to travel, uh, they offer a travel bag. It doesn't come with it, but if that's something you're interested in or if you have your own bag uh, that you can protect them in and travel with, great option to travel because, again, the, don't let the size fool you. These are a serious pair of reference monitors. 
Now, as far as competition, IK Multimedia has a small pair of monitors uh, as well, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend them against these because the level of accuracy, the level of detail, and the quality, uh, the build quality is really unparalleled. So uh, they also come in, uh, this is the gray version. Uh, they also come in white for all those guys and gals with, uh, you know, a white decor in your studio. Keep that in mind as well. That may be something that, you know, interests you over the darker color. But again, like I said, really unparalleled sound, uh, unprecedented for the size. There, to just to give you an idea, they're loud as, if not louder, than the A5X, which is a whole size larger. Uh, they don't have as low and deep a bass, but they still offer extremely low bass for the size of the monitor, and it's extremely accurate. So that's something you want to keep in mind. So, like I said, you know, Genelec, very good company, quality monitoring system. Uh, I don't think. If you get a pair, you won't be upset. And it, as I said, again, they come in larger sizes. I specifically just wanted to uh, review the 8010s uh, if, because I wanted a monitor that uh, really pushes the mid range forward as far as mixing vocals and, and uh, bass, uh, you know, bass guitar. So really nice speakers. So I hope you enjoyed that review again. Thank you for visiting Out The Box Studios, and if you would like, please hit the subscription button as well as the notification bell, and the thumbs up if you would like, and uh, again, thanks for stopping by, and remember, as cliche as it may sound, uh, you know, it's not really about the destination, it's about the journey, so whatever your process is, whatever your creative process and working, don't get stuck on the finished product. Always be creating new ideas, new waves, new ways of doing things. And don't be afraid to try things different that you may not think are conventional in your productions, in your mix mixing. Uh, you know, that's how you come up with new sounds and, and you know, totally new ways of thinking. So uh, never be afraid to step out of that box and enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. All right. KRK Beats for Out the Box Studios. Peace.